Hey guys, so it's day 12 and hmm, I'm doing okay. I just reached uh, um, 28,634, which is not too bad for 12 days, almost at 30k, which I'm okay about. I'm doing around about a thousand words a day because I've been pretty busy lately. And, um, I thought I'd talk to you guys about projects. I know that Nano comes at a time when a lot of us are working or doing schoolwork and you kind of have to fit that in between everything else. But I don't really have that issue at the moment because I'm not working constantly at the moment and I'm not studying at the moment so I have ample amount of time to fill in and even that takes like I have to do housework and go out to places and visit people and go to appointments and doctors and all that crazy stuff that happens when you have medical issues. So it's kind of like I'm not just sitting in my ass doing nothing all day. And then added to that I have my side projects for things like reviewing books and reading my own books and reading my library books and reading takes up a lot of time as well. And then I have to kind of fit in my other hobbies like scrapbooking, art journaling, um, watching movies, journaling journaling. I haven't done that in a couple of days. I'm behind a bit so I've got to get started on that. And um, just general things like that. And then I've got to kind of fit in like normal day to day stuff anyway. But um, being the well-adjusted person that I am, I decided to take on more this month. Um, and, and, and when I say more, um, it's not so much that I have to finish these things by this month, but I'm very tempted to start them. So tempted. Um, for those of you who don't know, I fanfiction. I think it's probably been said a couple of times in videos, but I fanfiction for Supernatural. And lately, I've been wanting to kind of relax from my novel, but still write. I don't know, you probably should just kind of use that energy and put it into your novel. But sometimes I feel like I need to step away from my novel and think about that, but also be writing. So I sort of kind of like to do some fan fiction in between. And sometimes when I'm really blocked, fan fiction actually gets me out of my rut. So. But I kind of have been procrastinating a bit, so I've joined challenges before, I'm still doing a very long standing um, table where you kind of get like one worded prompts and you write whatever you want to write from those, so that's okay. And I like doing that kind of stuff because you can do like drabbles which are like really short fiction pieces, like usually or, or ficlets, which are like 100 words, which are really cool because um, and it's something I can fit into like a coffee break or something like that and I really feel like writing uh, all supernatural um, characters and I can just write 100 words and that's my ficlet and so and I'm going to work on that too. But I decided that I was going to take on two more really epic word challenges so I decided, I keep saying I decided but I chose to participate in two. One is called the SPN, which is Supernatural Big Bang, Big Gen Bang. Now, Gen is kind of like no romance, um, no sexual encounters, nothing like that kind of stuff. It's like pretty much straight up action. Pretty much like what the story, like the actual show is about. Now, I write fan fiction to relax, and usually my fan fiction is very slash. Sometimes there's some straight action, but most of the time it's gay or incest. So, which if you don't know what incest is, I don't think I need to tell people. But yeah, it's a crazy, crazy fandom, and I love it. But, um, so that. It's kind of hard for me to write, well the goal is 15k, so 15k of a story that's not got any romance in it at all, that's not got any like sort of relationship -y kind of things in it, but I really wanted to challenge myself not only just in a supernatural capacity, but in a capacity that I can also write my novels and my other stories without having to be so romantically in, um, in depth with that sort of stuff, if that makes sense to you guys. So I'm doing that, then I'm also doing a 
another one where there's two other characters, there's another angel in the show called Gabriel and of course Dean. So I'm doing a Dean Briel, which is a kind of um, relationship capacity kind of story as well. And I'm not really a big fan of uh, Gabriel because he's a kind of an ass, but I thought, you know, I spent a lot of my time doing certain characters, so I want to challenge myself and get out of my comfort zone and write about these two characters that I really don't know how they're going to gel together, but again, I want to learn, I want to sort of practice and kind of write about characters that don't usually kind of fit my norm inside my brain. And I think it will be really good experience um, in helping my writing as well. So that one is 15k as well, so there's 30k that I have to write. Um, I think the cutoff the, for the Debriel, the posting begins um, on September, and for the SBN Gen Big Bang, it's October twenty uh, October first. So I have a lot of time, so I definitely have a lot of time to do that. But then there is this whole kind of thing that happens when I found affiliations and I find affiliations and those links lead me to more challenges and more challenges and I love challenges so I want to be in on it because I just love to write with people. I'm one of those people that if I sit down and write with a group of people I'm going to be really pumped so I like to write with people. So I have to kind of cut back on those as well because otherwise I'm going to be at the end of the month and I may be writing seven or eight different stories and I really don't want to lose track of the main purpose of April which is Camp Nano. So those are some of the projects that I'm embarking on and I have my little supernatural um, fan fiction journal that I have and I have all my ideas and stuff in here. So I'm thinking like as a treat when I reach my blow goal I'll kind of do some of this and um, some of my fan fiction too as kind of a reward instead of eating shit which is just terrible. Um, I don't eat shit but um, like candy and stuff like that. I'm trying to find different ways to reward myself without having to eat stuff or drink caffeinated um, drinks or anything like that. So. Yeah, so and I like to challenge myself, so that's also I thought I'd show you guys this really um, I'm really pleased with it. This page that I started last night, it is a scrapbooking page. Um, it was the challenge was to make a scrapbooking page without photos but to have a lot of journaling and I haven't done the journaling yet because I'm waiting to the end of the month. But I decided to do one on Nano. Um, this is April Nano kept Nano two thousand plot, uh, plan, plot and write, 50k, and I have this cute little, I've been waiting forever to use this, and so that's that, and then it's 50,000 words and 30 days, so I'm going to treat this because it applies, and I think it's cute. So on top of that, like I said, I'm actually doing some more challenges with reading as well, Small brain is packed to capacity and I don't know how it's going to affect November but I'm definitely going to try and aim to get to 50k. I am almost 20k beyond the kind of boundaries I wanted to press against so it's good and yeah like I said I'm sitting at 28k so it's only really two more and I'm at 30 and then it's only another 20 so I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to try and aim for 1 to 2k a day, but I'm not stressing myself out right now because, like I said, I'm taking on this and taking on other stuff in life as well. But, um, yeah, I thought to ask if you guys had any, like, sort of projects that you are working on and that you are kind of doing while you ha while you're doing nano. Are you as crazy as me? Do you like to take on a lot of stuff um, to challenge yourself or do you set, set yourself a little bit at a pace, uh, at a reasonable non-mental pace. So yeah, and also if you are a fan fiction or if you're interested in supernatural fan fiction or anything like that, I'm going to leave my live journal page down below, or my link to it, so you guys can follow me if you're on live journal. And that's about it.
so thank you guys for watching I put my final word count down for today because I don't think I finished writing but we'll see um, I'm hoping to probably get to 29k because it's only an extra 400 words so that's okay with me um, yeah. hope you guys are writing well and I'll see you later bye